in a bit. Now, preserving passenger safety, federal aviation officials are reviewing staffing at air traffic control towers across the country, including right here in Kansas City. Some union officials say it's about time. Larry Seward is here with more. Larry. Mark, several airport towers have just one traffic controller working overnight. Kansas City has two, but local controllers union reps still report problems. Inside KCI's tower. Safety is our number one uh, goal. It is, it is uh, what we are all about as air traffic controllers. Federal aviation officials say there's always at least two people directing planes to and from terminals. Still, Controllers Union President Kevin Peterson sees problems. The one issue that we still haven't been able to crack yet is, is staffing. It's a national issue made urgent by an air traffic controller working alone who fell asleep while on duty at Reagan National Airport in Washington, D.C. It forced two planes to land without help from the tower. The person involved was a 20-year veteran working his fourth consecutive overnight shift. Peterson believes it's important to note the man was also a supervisor. A supervisor's primary job is just to oversee the operation. They don't uh, necessarily get in there and work the traffic every day like we did. Those who do seem to be retiring in waves, leaving those with experience in stressful situations. We're training the next generation of controllers right now, um, and that's that's an ongoing process. Doing all that training um, adds, adds stress to the job. Peterson doesn't consider it a burden, but it's a challenge his union believes can be solved with larger staffs. Federal officials agree. They're just not sure how much is enough. They've got their number. We've got our number. But, uh, you know, hopefully somewhere in the middle we can meet and we can make sure that these uh, facilities are properly staffed so that uh, controllers aren't overworked, that they're not fatigued. And to be able to protect their number one goal, passenger safety. Now, sometime next week, air traffic controller union reps plan to meet with the FAA to work on solutions. Larry Seward, NBC Action News.